Former GOP presidential candidate and staunch supporter of President Trump, Herman Cain, has died from complications of COVID-19. Our Ken Molestina spoke to Texas State Representative today, who was recently with Mr. Cain in Tulsa for a Trump rally. Ken's here with more. Ken? Yeah, Doug, State Rep. James White says he is saddened by the passing of his friend to COVID-19. And today we sat down on a Zoom interview to talk about his legacy. Herman Cain became a presidential candidate in 2012 and received tons of attention nationally for his 999 tax reform plan. It called for all current taxes to be replaced with a 9% personal income tax, 9% corporate tax, and 9% federal sales tax. Most recently, he had become a strong Trump supporter and was co chair of Black Voices for Trump. His friend, a Texas state rep from House District 19, James White, spoke about his passing. How do you think Herman Cain should be remembered, sir? I, it, 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 as one who came from humble beginnings, um, a scholar, um, a, a businessman, a, a citizen that woke up every day to make his country better than it was today, uh, that it was given to him. White, along with others, was with Kate in Tulsa last month for a Trump rally. It was the last time he saw him, and he addressed the widespread speculation that Kane could have become infected with the virus at that rally. There's been a lot of talk, uh, Representative uh, White, about uh, him contracting COVID-19 at that particular rally. You believe any of that? Well, look, um, uh, I think right now my focus is on uh, raising up that family. In prayer and encouragement in their time of reflection. Uh, I'm not an epidemiologist, I'm not a doctor, and I'll just leave that for those type of procrastinators, and I'm not procrastinators, prognosticators. Alan West, the chairman of the Texas GOP, released a statement saying, in part, Herman Cain was the embodiment of the American success story and dream. His life was one that reflected the fundamentals of constitutional conservatism and equality of opportunity. The political scene. Obviously, his family and the country in general, we're going to really miss it. Well, Herman Cain was 74 years old. He survived by his wife, his children, and his grandchildren. Doug.